The Midnight Sky is a new Netflix original sci-fi film that just released on uh, Netflix today. Um, so, if you're looking for something to watch <laughs> during the holidays, here you go. Um, hmm. I don't know what it is with Netflix. They've released a lot of space shows and movies this year. It's been very strange. And most of it actually has been decent stuff. Uh, Away wasn't too bad. Um, you know, there's that one space show with Steve Carell that wasn't any good. Um, you know, they've just released a lot of stuff. Very, very strange. But The Midnight Sky is pretty interesting. Because it's a movie that I would normally like. But I don't. Um, it star it's directed and stars George Clooney. Uh, I'm a George, huge George, Clo George Clooney fan. I like him in plenty of his movies. My favorite movie actually is a George Clooney movie. Of course, he d he doesn't um, he doesn't act in it. He voice acts, but it's fantastic, Mr. Fox. But he's a great actor. Uh, I believe this is his directorial debut, which seems like he's probably taking some notes from uh, Ben Affleck and, uh, and and stuff like that, where he directs and acts in a lot of movies. Um, I don't think it really works. Um, and why I say this is a movie I would normally like, uh, my, my favorite movie of, well, one of them, of last year, because this fly is like... In my face. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, was Ad Astra. And Ad Astra is a movie that, if you weren't a critic, most people hated. They thought it was boring. They thought it was nothing. I loved Ad Astra. It was uh, had incredible cinematography. The voiceover performance from Brad Pitt was fan-freaking-tastic. It was so good. Um, it had its issues. Like, the director wanted to do more with the movie. And you can see how some of that was changed by the studio. Uh, apparently, like, the ending was completely different and stuff. But it doesn't matter. It's still a pretty good movie. Midnight Sky is kind of like that, where it's a very slow burn movie. So if you don't like movies that are really stretched out, and really slow, not a lot of dialogue, not a lot of talking or anything happening. I mean, it's not, there's, well, I mean, not that there's nothing happening. There's just, it's just from, like, what you're watching, there's, it's all just watching characters do things. It's not a lot of that type of thing. Now, I love stuff like that, but this movie didn't work. Uh, mainly in regards to it not having anything interesting to say. After the aftermath, aftermath of a global catastrophe, George Clooney's character is in the Arctic and he has to rush to tell these scientists not to return to Earth because something's wrong with the planet. And, and that's kind of the pitch of the movie. But, like, it's not really saying anything. You know, Wally, right, has a similar concept where humans aren't on Earth and the Earth is all kind of screwed up. But Wally's saying something. Ad Astra is similar to this. All sci-fi movies that usually do this, they're doing this to a point. It says something. It, they do something interesting. The filmmaking's really interesting. Not to say there's no good cinematography and stuff here. There totally is. But it's not astounding like Ad Astra. It's not amazing, beautifully shot stuff that's fantastic to look at so it's just a slow burn it doesn't really say anything interesting and when it does it's nothing new and it's just not good it's it's not a terrible film like it's a five out of ten but it's definitely not worth watching because you're just watching not much happen to get to very little and there are better films to check out i really recommend ad astra um i know some people won't like that film very much but i think if it I think you should at least try it. It's fantastic. Um, but, yeah. This movie, eh.